Hey, what's up guys? Nunu here. I'd like to share with you a first look at the new feature in D5 Render 2.3. I'm talking about the new and improved cloud system. The final version of D5 Render 2.3, which will be released pretty soon, will have much more customization options such as thickness, high and low clouds, and much more. So let's get started. So this is the new D5 Render 2.3. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this new one has the new cloud system. And you will find this new cloud system, if you go on the right side, you'll see here environment, and you select the geo and sky. And the clouds will only work with this geo and sky, not with the HDRI. Then you have here cloud, so you can click to activate. And you, now you have here a lot more the properties, like the amount, the thickness, density, height, speed, direction and also cast shadow. And this option is quite nice because when the clouds pass through, on, through the sun, it will cast shadows on your scene as well. So especially for videos, this uh, feature here, this toggle, it's quite nice. And so I'm just going to increase here to the maximum. And here with the maximum, we are probably seeing just the clouds that are higher in the sky, which as you can see here on this side, uh, you have different types of clouds. You have this, uh, Cyrocumulus, which are typically the highest clouds and uh, the high on the sky. As we can see here, it's, uh, they are found in high altitudes and are made of ice crystals. That's why they have this type of shape that you see here. And also this one, Cirrostratus. So they are a little bit thicker than this, uh, these first ones. And you can also here go to height and still make it higher or lower in the sky, as you can see. So I'm going to leave the height at uh, zero or almost zero for now. And then you have thickness. So when you increase thickness, you don't see anything right now because you need to increase the density first. So let's first go to the density. And if I increase here this density, so you can see that it looks more like a fog. And these ones are, will be probably the stratus which it's a low altitude cloud and uh, it gives this uh, gloomy weather as you can see here. And so let me reduce this to about here, 15, and then increase the thickness. And now you can see some other type of clouds showing up, but you can also reduce here the amount. And now we can see that if we add a little bit more, and now we increase the height, we can start to see some other type of clouds. So the, you can experiment with these parameters until you find ones that you really like. So if I increase here the thickness and then the density, so you can see the result, I can increase a little bit more. And by the way, these clouds are probably the cumulus, which you can see here as well. So they are a low altitude cloud as well. And they have this fluffy shape. So it's probably these ones. You can still adjust the thickness. So if you want them to be more defined or less, a little bit more soft type of cloud. And you can also adjust the, the height again. So you can see that now you have many properties to make the sky exactly at your own taste, quite unique just for your project. And you also have the speed. So if you increase the speed, so let me put just about zero free. And if you don't see this uh, speed, it's because you, have, you need to go to the display and you see this uh, little man here, like it's running. If yours is standing, then you will not see any animation here inside uh, your viewport. So you need to click this icon and now you will see the animation. And you can also change the direction. So which direction will be going. Okay. So for example, maybe they are coming this direction. And if you increase the height all the way and let's make all the way to the maximum so we can compare. And now if you decrease the height, so you can see how, how it looks. And there is one last thing that we need to, to check here, which is the cast shadow. So if I click this cast shadow and let's actually make this height more or less here and the thickness and the amount maybe something like this. So I'll make it faster. So hopefully this clouds, yeah. So you can see that some of the clouds are passing through the sun and when they do, 
we can see all of these shadows. So let's see where's the sun. So it's there. So we can see that. So we have the sun. Well, now we don't have any, any clouds now, but probably this one will make some shadows. You see? So this is actually quite nice to, to create this, uh, this type of shadows. And of course, you can also mix this with um, the wind, for example. If you increase the wind, I just have here a couple of assets that are with wind, but then you have the fog, which you can combine. And I'll talk more about this fog in a new video, because they also changed a lot of these uh, fog parameters. And if you increase this all the way, again, let's make it about here, and decrease the height. And you could also mix this with um, the new precipitation effect. So let's say it's raining, so it will be a nice match now with this uh, new cloud system. And you can turn all of this dynamic like I showed you in the beginning of the video. I showed you the sky in the beginning is uh, without any clouds and then it starts forming some clouds until it starts to rain. And if you'd like to know more about DeFi Render, I do have a course for that. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. And there is just one last thing that I would like to show you, which is the color of the clouds. If you change the sun position, the clouds will also change where they have the shadows. So if I rotate the sun, let's say it's about here now, I'm just actually going to reduce the fog so you can see it better. And I can increase maybe a little bit better this density and make them higher in the sky. So the sun is there, you can see where the shadows are. So if I start rotating, you can see the shadows in the clouds, right? For example, let's look here on this one. Well, now this one is gone. Let's make it a little bit faster. Okay. So let's rotate now and you can have a look here and you'll see that the shadows on the clouds, they are changing according to the position of the sun. And not only that, if you also make the sun a little bit lower, it will also change and it will also start to change the colors. You see that it will start to match the colors of, uh, of your sky. So now in a more sunset, so now it's dark, you can see the clouds are also dark. And again, it will also will depend on the position of the sun. Do you like this new feature? Let me know what you think. I would appreciate if you gave this video a like so that YouTube will keep recommending my new videos to you. And I'll see you in the next one.